So uh, Kevin explains crypto this week, mainnet, mainnet. So anybody around crypto, especially if you're a developer, knows what mainnet means um, as opposed to testnet. Um, so I'll break it down in two ways, right? If you're a programmer or know anything about programming and outside of blockchain, then obviously you've heard of, let's say, production and test environments, right? Or sandbox environments. We talk a lot about sandboxes on, on this show, not necessarily in development capacity. But, um, so when you are making a new piece of software or some new code, obviously before you put it live, before you put it in a production environment, you want to test it. So you'll put it in a clone of your production environment. Let's say, for example, this is a financial, a fintech piece of software, right? You need to test this. It's going to be moving money. You don't want to move real money when you're testing because what if it doesn't work, it's broken, or it causes a bunch of losses, right? Or you just lose money all over the place. So you put it in a test environment. So you have one server that actually does transactions. You have another server that mimics this server, but transactions are in demo mode. They don't actually move money. Right. So that would be your test environment. So on blockchain, you have a test net. Test net is where you test. You can move you can move coins and tokens back and forth between between accounts. You can test for throughput, how much transaction volume you can do, all those good things. Um, but at the end of the day, none of the transactions are actually real. No, no financial, um, real financial information, data or money is changing hands on the main net. This is your production environment. When you put something on the main net, you're actually doing real transactions that are now irreversible. Uh, and if you're talking about tokens, coins, or anything with some type of monetary value, you're moving money. So that's what mainnet is.